All right, everybody. This is Car Ray Rob. I'm Ray. I'm Rob. And tonight, moment we've all been waiting for, Star Wars: The Last Jedi teaser trailer. Yes. All right, Rob, every now and then you're given something you didn't even know you wanted, and today we were given that. Yep. We have a Star Wars teaser. Absolutely. We it's both said now in our predictions video this wasn't going to happen. Yep. We have to admit defeat here. It yeah, happened. Right. We weren't thinking until you know, May the 4th, and then the Guardians being released on May the 5th. I yeah. mean, me, I just made a lot of sense, but Star Wars Celebration. Yeah, they went all out for Star Wars Celebration in Orlando, so makes sense. Yeah. Uh, I'm still stoked that it's here, even Absolutely. though I made my prediction wrong. But, Rob, what are you hoping to see in this movie? Trailer, well, teaser. You know, with Force Awakens, there was a lot of comparisons to A New Hope. You yeah. know, a lot of people kind of found that to be a little tedious, that it was kind of feeling like the same movie. However, I think it brought a lot of, you know, of those old fans back in, you know, sure. get that old Star Wars feel. But with that, I'm really hoping to see something different. I'm hoping to see yeah. them kind of step out of that shadow a little bit. You know, they've got their confidence back a little bit and going out there doing something different. Yeah, I think Episode Seven had a really tough job of of restarting not just a franchise but like probably the biggest franchise in the history of movies with yeah. maybe some of the strictest fans oh, or some yeah. sort yeah. introducing new characters paying homage to old characters i think in some ways they paid too much homage but you know it got us started in the yeah. right direction and hopefully this movie i hope this movie empire strikes backs it yeah. and it starts to just get a little bit darker Absolutely. a little bit find its own identity and do its own thing and i think uh i'm just want to get a taste of that in this teaser that's what i think i'm hoping for yeah absolutely another thing i'm really hoping for i want to see the ryan johnson influence you know i you know with jj abrams doing force awakens you know it was fine yeah I, I like abrams i think he's solid at what he does but i think ryan johnson <clears throat> is a really really talented director especially in the sci-fi realm you know looper was great yeah i'm really excited to see what he brings to episode eight i was actually excited about episode eight before i even saw episode seven because i knew ryan johnson was directing yeah. it yeah so why are we waiting I don't let's know. watch let's do the this. thing So we got, I think, a true teaser. Absolutely. Yeah. For sure. Um, let's just start with that last line. Work back. I think that's the hook of the trailer. Sure. It's time for the Jedi. It's time for the Jedi to end, says Luke. Damn. What do you think he means? Uh, you know, after The Force Awakens and finding out Kylo Ren's backstory and the whole... You know, Luke screwed up training him. him. Right. He did. He Dang did. it, he Luke. Did. He's terrible. You're no Yoda, <laughs> but he he's probably feeling really jaded. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm you know I'm training these people to you know in the ways of the light and the dark. 
is so tempting. Strong, yeah, yeah. And very so strong. And you know, he's probably kind of getting to that point where he's he just doesn't understand the light dark dynamic anymore. He's having a crisis of spirit, if you will. I can see that. Yeah, I th I saw you know some people's reaction like that. Luke's gonna be turned to the dark side. I'm like I don't get. I don't feel that from that line. I mean, I know he's done that in the ex in the extended universe. They, uh -huh. That storyline does exist. Are they doing it here? I, I maybe, but yeah. nothing really I, says that to me at this particular moment. I think it's a bit of a misdirection line I because I feel like it's one of the first things he probably says to Ray because. You see shots on, of, in the trail of him training her. Right, yeah. So it's not like he said, well, the, it's not like he trained her for six months and said, all right, you know, actually the Jedi should end. Uh, get out of here. I yeah. Mean, he says that first, you would think. Yeah, it's probably part of like, the talk. convincing conversation yeah. that they have. And like, then train he goes me. and no. trains her. Train me. Also, no. you got to remember, you know, think about when he first wanted to get trained by Yoda. He got all this misdirection. Yoda's yeah. really difficult to see how persistent and committed Luke would be. I could see Luke doing that to Ray, like yeah. really challenging her, really saying, "No, this is stupid. Get out of here." I yeah, don't, I don't train girls, right? You know, and then it turned out to be, "Oh yeah, that was a test." You absolutely. Know? So I think it's a bit of a misdirection, but I think it's cool. Yeah, no, absolutely, and it, you know, obviously that it sparked a discussion, which is always mm -hmm. great. They're getting people talking about the movie. I mean, that's what these things are about. So I think it'll be very interesting to see where they finally land on it, though. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, and I will say, you know, we're talking about the training aspect of sure. this trailer. It was very heavy in this. Yeah. And that, you know, one thing that worries me about that is, you know, I, I mentioned before how excited I am for Ryan Johnson to yeah. direct this movie. I'm hoping they didn't just stick him with the training movie, though, where it's like, oh, she's going to be training most of the movie for yeah. this, you know, final fight sequence, and that's pr pretty much it. Yeah. I don't think so. That would stink. I think Ryan Johnson is too capable for that yeah, but so much more um i don't think so because there, i feel like there is so much like we said this has been a real teaser i feel like there's so much of the movie we haven't seen yet like, yeah we don't really know what finn's doing we see him that that shot in like the Cryo, tank yeah, yeah. Kind of cryogenic kind of stasis yeah and that's it uh we see poe like running down a hallway with bb8 and that's it yeah um we don't really see kylo nope. except maybe a broken helmet i'm thinking that's his yeah we don't see benicio del toro's new character we don't see really any you know we only see phasma walking on the beach so i think there's a lot that we don't know what's going to be happening yeah which is cool yeah um which is good so i think you know i think there's a lot of that stuff that's going to populate the movie and not just make it feel like all we're doing is watching ray train which i think it'll, it'll be cool yeah well you know obviously with this trailer they wanted to really you know push home the fact that Luke is in this movie. Yeah. Like, that is really what We kind of tricked you with the yeah. first one. Right, exactly. He's in there for two seconds. He has no line. Yeah. He just kind of stares at the, the camera. Right. But yeah, like this one, he's in it. He has lines. That's, you know, that's yeah. what they're really trying to sell. Really, this trailer. is the first time we've heard Luke speak, Luke Skywalker speak since Return of the Jedi. Right. I mean, so they got it over the way with. I think it's like, all right, guys, it's here. Don't let this be like the over-encompassing thing that you're waiting for in the movie. Now, like, you're expecting it. You've seen it. Now enjoy the whole movie when you go see it. Yeah. No. I All right, Robin. Another thing that I want to kind of touch on, without getting too deep into Star Wars lore, because mm. it's very <laughs> complicated, you can get lost in it. But you kind of brought up the light and the dark. Yeah. And we kind of hear Ray talking about that in the trailer, mm -hmm. the light and the dark, and then she's talking about finding the balance. And I have a feeling, you know, she whispers it. Anything you hear whisper in a trailer, it's like pay super attention <laughs> right. to this. You get close to the speed. <laughs> I feel like balance is going to be a big part of this trilogy. Like yeah. the original trilogy was so black and white, it's like good, bad, mm -hmm. that's it. Rogue One really started to play in the gray. Yeah. And I can see that, I, I feel like I can see this movie trying to, to play in the gray. And yeah. Then, um, for people that watch the Rebels TV show, and even if you don't, but they've really started to put into canon, right, in mm -hmm. um, the middle, the middle part. They call it the Bendu. Which, like trivia, I guess, was the original name George Lucas was going to use for Jedi. Oh, which yeah. I don't think I think Jedi is better, but yeah. but um, but so they they've started to throw this concept out to fans through the show. Mm -hmm. and I could see that being maybe introducing that to the movie. I think it would make sense. Yeah, no, I agree, and it, it is kind of a you know a, a, an interesting concept 
the to explore not you know because we grew up watching this movie it was all about like you said light dark you know that was what it's about green but, lightsaber red lightsaber right and these these ideas that you know we grew up with it you know they're still relevant but there's also this idea of the middle which i think is a really great concept to explore you know it, Maybe more, being more powerful, more real. Right. You know, the, the need of, you know, good and evil together, you know, yin-yang, like that mm -hmm. type of thing. And, that you know, really finding the balance. And I think, you know, especially with a character, you know, like, you know, Kylo Ren, that, you know, has such ties to both sides. Right. You know, his parents, you know, are very much a part of the light, but, you know, his grandfather is obviously very much part of the dark. You know, I could see that really being balled up within him. Yeah. And you know, Luke could kind of see that as an opportunity to, to figure out a way to, instead of, you know, getting rid of the dark completely in Kylo Ren, figuring out a way for him to kind of live with both and and make it work like for Bruce him. Like Bruce Banner in the Avengers saying the way he can control Hulk right. is by being mad all the time. Yeah, exactly. But it, it could be another twist on what, what um, kind of we were theorizing before when Luke is saying the Jedi might send. Maybe he's saying that the time for just being good or just being bad, maybe he's saying, maybe they saying, I don't want to train you to be a Jedi, I want to train you to be this middle ground. Right. And maybe he thinks that that's where you'll find real success. Um, again, you know, without getting too deep in it, it could go into the whole, you know, how do you balance the force, right? Because that's where everything's supposed to be like. Right. And it's supposed to bring balance and, you know, like what is balance? Is it right. them having the same number of people? Is it exterminating it, you know? Right. I think they're going to play with all that in this yeah. series. It could be really interesting how you interpret that. No, I, I agree completely. You know, the idea of, you're, you're right, balance has been in the the films since the beginning, yeah. you know, and you know, and kind of this whole idea of, you know, like you said, Anakin bringing balance to the Force and all of that. And uh, I feel like with this movie it's kind of like it's really tying into a lot of modern yeah, ideas you know I think so. for Big then time. you know it was like that was kind of the, that was the times they you know, people were living in it was kind of this idea of you know good evil that's it you know now i think we really as a society especially you know with other characters and other franchises yeah. like batman and stuff like that you know where they've taken those types of characters i think the modern movie going audience really that's attaches right. to that idea of the anti-hero in a yeah. way if you want to go that route with it yeah i think in the 70s you know it was so much so much there was so much gray because of you know like vietnam stuff people didn't know who to believe in who to root for you wanted a good guy just to cheer for like i know right. this person's right now it's like the opposite you know now people don't want just the goody good guy you know right. we don't want that anymore yeah. and i think but i think it makes sense in the story like that they're gonna be able to put that spin on it yeah well so many people i know you know don't even like luke really as a character you know i mean i i do i do i mean yeah. i still like luke as a character but you know they find him whiny you know they find you know like and we even talked about he's really know, unproven he hasn't really ever done anything great <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> it's true but you know it, it, and even you know again talk bringing in you know something somebody from another uh franchise but something like a superman you know mm -hmm. i'm talking about we've talked that in other videos about yeah. how you know those types of characters don't necessarily ring true with you know, the modern film going audience so I could see with this and you know and bringing somebody like Ryan Johnson in you know to write a character like that I think is absolutely brilliant because you know if you watched Looper you know that it was the, the lead character I mean Joseph Gordon-Levitt in that film was very middle you yeah, know, <laughs> yeah. gray area so I you know I think he another really great reason for him to direct this movie especially if that's kind of the stuff that they're gonna be uh, tackling yeah and you know just to kind of wrap it up you know they showed a couple shots in this trailer those pictures of the books yeah mm -hmm. and the, the finger touching the book we're thinking yeah. maybe it's like the wills I agree completely. Um, so you know if you're if you're wasting time in this minute and fifty second trailer, show a picture of some books. Yeah, right? it's important to Absolutely. the movie, and I think it's ha you know it's Luke finding new ways to interpret. I think you know Yoda had a line in like maybe the prequels, which we've all tried to forget a lot of those. <laughs> but, you know, he said maybe the Jedi misinterpreted right the whatever the message. Um, and maybe Luke has been spending a lot of time rethinking about this, especially since maybe he lost Kyla, really thinking about what is the way to bring balance to the Force. And I think these books are going to be important somehow. Yeah. And just that whole message of really thinking about the good and evil is going to be a big part of this. Yeah, I agree completely. Now, this is purely a technicality. Yeah, basically. Because I don't think it's going to surprise anybody, but that's why we're here. It's yep. why we make these videos. We're going to rate it, midnight it, stream it, forget it, go.
I uh, don't want to be a broken record, but I'm going to midnight this. Oh, I'm shocked. Come on now. I'm not going to not see Star Wars Episode Eight at midnight. Yeah. No, I agree. I will be there with, with you at midnight as well. We have seen all of we the have six seen all trilogy of uh, yeah, at, at midnight. Uh, when they did the re-releases, we yep. saw them at first uh, first showings, and for the uh, prequels. prequels, we did the midnight screenings for those as well. We will continue that tradition yes. with episode yes, we eight. Will. All right, everybody, that's it for us. But we want to know what you think of the Last Jedi trailer. What did you think of Luke's last line? What does it mean? Let us know in the comments below. Then hit the like and subscribe button so you can catch our next video. Till then, this is Car Ray Rob. I'm Ray. I'm Rob. Try right here. Stop. What the hell am I looking at? When does this happen in the movie? Now. You're looking at now, sir. Everything that happens now is happening now. What happened to then? We passed then. When? Just now. We're at now now. Go back to then. When? Now. Now? Now. I can't. Why? We missed it. When? Just now. When will then be now? Soon.